Uh, just to check the wheel alignments. Do the wheel alignments. So yep. you do that every set. New tyres, old tyres? Nah, they run the same tyre from qualifying yeah, right. through the races. Um, just check the wheel alignments, make sure everything's right, everything's straight. Yeah, yeah. So you check that by uh, putting a, a straight line across yes. the car and then measuring with a uh, millimetre. Yeah, really, yeah. yeah, just square the, the car up. Measure your centres and then you measure yep. the distance from the rim, get one either side, and then you'll figure out which way the yeah, wheel's coming in. Yeah. Yeah. We're just checking it every session to make sure it's right for the races. So, so do you have to adjust it? Yeah, a lot of times maybe you have to adjust it. It can move if you if you hit a ripple or if you touch a car, like you do knock it out, it plays a bit. So you've had a bit of a scrub there, mate? Yeah, it was side by side, so we just want to... A few, wheel, a few yeah. wheel marks there, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Just These wheel alignment might need adjusting. <laughs> We didn't get qualifying right, we ran out of fuel. Oh, so it was uh, a critical calculation that one. Was qualified, qualified 11th, so had a bit of a bad start, got to 10th in the end, so yeah. picked up one spot, but the car's got some pace to be on the right, in that right top 10. Yeah. So what do they do to these? Oh, I'm from Brisbane, mate. Who to 86 is there around everywhere, mate. Yeah, um, the package is brakes, suspension, exhaust, and then they give it a MoTeC computer, they take the standard ECU out. Get a Motec computer. It's a bit dirty at the moment. And that's all the changes that you're allowed? Yeah, that's the control package. They give you an oil cooler and then you can put the cat can in if you want. Um, but everything else is standard. Put the roll cage in and that's it. Everything else is standard. So, diff? It's all the same. No, it's all the same. Gearbox ratios all have to be the same. Everything's. So what are they, what's top speed on, on this? Well, I won't say this car, but average for these four. Here, 235. 235. Yeah. You can push 240 if you get a good slipstream on another car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you drive this? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I drive this one. Yeah. I haven't recorded my being your big brother, mate. How old are you? Huh? How old are you? Um, 19. 19, yeah. 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 So you're off your peas? Oh, I'm all greens. I'm all greens. Yeah, they own your greens. <laughs> good on you. Yeah, we yeah, ran yeah. here last year and they, they had an issue with the ABS because these cars have ABS and traction yeah. control. Right. So when we start it, we actually have to turn the traction control off every time we start it. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, what, happened was, Falcon, mate. Yeah, what happened was um, up the top, I got hit on one of the wheels. I got squashed into the wheel first lap last year. And um, the ABS has turned off and the traction control turned on. So I went to hit the brakes down Skyline and blocked all fours. I went straight to the Oh, damn. Yeah. You need a bigger light on the back of the dash, mate. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they've done. That's pretty much what yeah. they've done. They so, on the, um, on the dash, it just goes bright red and says ABS alert. Yeah, so right. right. That's it. You race over pretty much. So, it's all switched on at the moment, mate? Like, yeah, we just turned the ignition on to get the steering angle straight. So yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah, nice. Oh. I'm um, sorry, what was your name, man? John, I follow. Okay, John. Thanks very much for your no time, worries. man. No worries. Thank you.